These items are all made crocheting the slip stitch in the round. Each stitch is crocheted into the back loop of the previous row and that way it creates these lines. There are so many things you can use this technique for. You can make bags or purses or cushions, mobile phone cases, pot holders, coasters, cases for keeping your crochet hooks in or pencil cases. Basically anything that is square or rectangular and that can be double because when you crochet round it automatically makes it makes it double so let's have a look at the technique it really is very very easy at first I'm showing you how you work on it when you have already been working for a while and then I go back and show two different ways of starting this so you insert the hook into the back loop and you take a yarn over and then you pull it through directly the loop as well as the stitch. That's all there is to it. Again, through there and pull right through. But now let's first look how you get started. There are two ways of starting and I'm first showing the easier way and in that you first make a chain and close it into a round and then start going round and round. In this here one I have just made one short chain and started going round crocheting both sides of the chain. So that way the piece is closed in right from the start. We are starting by making a chain that's twice the length of how wide you want your piece to be. So um, I'm just making a starting loop and chaining. I'm making a very small one so that it's quicker to show how it goes. Because the technique is exactly the same no matter what the size of your item is going to be. So this is enough now and uh, I'm joining it into a round, into a circle. Just using a slip stitch through the start and through the last stitch. So here's the circle I'm starting to go round on. And uh, I'm doing exactly as I was showing at the start with the piece that I had already worked on. At the start you put the hook through one side of the chain, take the yarn and pull through. So hook through, take yarn and pull it through. And really this is all you will be doing. So just keep going right round like that, the whole of the chain so I'll go to the end of the chain like this now. I finish the first round and then continue. I'm just doing it on a spiral round and round and round. So now that we are starting the second row you just need to check that you always take the back loop. There. You see the stitches from the previous row and you always take the one that's on the top the back one and pull through like this. This is not a fast technique but this way you get both sides of an item at the same time. So you just continue like this. I'll do this row using this here color and then when we get to the start of the row again I'll change the color. So now I will change the color. I have the second color already on my finger and I insert the hook here, take the new yarn and pull that one through. And then I just continue. Back loop and pull through directly.
When I finish that row I'll show you how to do it so that the place where you change the color shows as little as possible and especially so that it doesn't start moving this way but so that you always change the color at the same part of your work. Here we are at the end of this row and I'm taking back that same yarn again. I'm just doing this piece now in two colors. So I'm going to use this yarn. But what you need to do that when you change color, you always stop so that you have one stitch showing in the previous color. Because now that I'm making another stitch, this will still go on top of that there. So I'm inserting the hook there and taking that color that changes now a different color. Like that there. So now we can see that that closed in that row here. I'm tightening the other yarn a tiny bit so that it looks tidier there. And again now I'll do a whole row using this here. Yarn again. always the back loop and now we're starting to see that one row gives you this here small line so um, in this other one I have different widths of stripes all these are just one row here's two there's two but there's one two three four five so you can create whatever kind of striping just using a different number of rows Again at the end of the row and now I just continue without changing color here. So then you just keep going without making any changes to it at all. So this is how you just continue and continue until you get whatever it is that you are making. And now I'll show the other way of starting this. With the other way of starting, I only need a chain that is as long as my project is wide. So let's say I'm going to want to make a mobile phone cover. So it only needs to be just as wide as the phone. And now we are not joining it into the round, but we start crocheting just back on that chain, just the same way, making slip stitches to one side of the chain right to the end. So here I am at the end of this chain and I'm turning it round and you can see that there's the other side of the starting chain stitches are here. So uh, I'm going back on them and I just keep going so I'm not making any extra stitches at the end here where I turn. So just straight there and the next one and so on until you get to the to the end again each stitch now I'm almost at the other end and then I just uh, taking the last one on that side and uh, then you just keep going again adding no extra stitches there so right into this one and the next one and so on right round and round and after you have done a few rows you see that it starts going evenly upwards and it folds into two so I'll make I go around a few times now so that I can show how it works I'm at the end again and here again I'll have a stitch into every stitch there there and because I'm not adding anything and just going round like this, this is now starting to turn so that it creates this, starting to go like this here, so that it's double. So it starts growing like this here. And let's try that. There. In the beginning I was showing one of my pot holders and actually I make all my pot holders like this now. You can get the nice bright stripes using this technique and because it's double it's very thick. This here is cotton so it doesn't burn. But you can use this technique for a whole lot of different projects. So enjoy it. <laughs>